Hey guys, better late than ever, but this is my February YouTube channel shout out. As I said at the beginning of the year, I'm gonna try and do a video every month doing a special shout out for a few YouTube channels that I like, having a kind of a specific theme. The last week was video game reviewers. This one is music, and there's three different versions. The first is Stutter. This is actually a band that is here in Vancouver. Uh, I know the bassist, Bree. Bree has actually been on the show twice for the Fantastic Beast reviews. Fantastic personality, and she's a great bassist. The whole band is actually very, very good. And they had a fantastic start. They had such great recognition. And then unfortunately, COVID hit them right when they were getting into their stride. They do have a small little album of their own, which I will link to their website in the description below, but you guys should definitely check them out. They're definitely a harken back to that of like the 90s punk music. Every time I hear the music, I keep on thinking of Tony Hawk Pro Skater. Admittedly, I'm not very good at uh, deciphering what is being said in any kind of music, so when I'm listening to these guys play, I don't really understand what the lead singer is saying most of the time either, but that's just me. Otherwise though, the rock and the uh, intensity of the music is really fun to listen to, and like I said, it feels like you're playing a Tony Hawk Pro Skater game, so definitely check them out. And then usually I talk about a middle of the road channel, but these next two are admittedly big, but both of them struggle because there's absolutely no way they make any money off of YouTube. The first being Todd in the Shadows. Todd in the Shadows is actually probably one of my favorite YouTube channels as of right now. I love watching this guy talk about music and the history of it, as well as just his own interpretations of pop music. He has several different categories of videos he talks about. Top 10 best and worst of whatever decade or whatever year. Uh, and then he also has train wreck records or one hit wonders. It's really cool to see him talk about this. The first video I ever saw him talk about was Little Nas with uh, Old Town Road, and he talked about the history of African-American singers in country and essentially them being it and then them being kicked out of their own genre of music and then being working back in and the really well done uh, accommodation with Billy Ray Cyrus in that song. He actually started way back when uh, Channel Awesome was trying to become their own thing. He did a review here and there with Nostalgia Critic and with Lindsay Ellis. So he has been around for a long time and I really like his personality, I like his jokes, and I think that he has a great mindset onto music. And then finally, the last one is Sideways. This guy only cropped up to me just recently and I've only watched a couple of his videos, but while I don't understand music, I don't understand the tone, motif, all that sort of stuff, this guy can explain it to you in a way that you know he is a very well-versed musician. He knows what he's talking about. He knows the subject matter. And he can also point out when it's done well and as well as when it's done terribly. His two essays about how the music style of Les Mis, particularly, and then Cats, was so traumatic and terrible for the musicians who would have to uh, make the uh, developing accompaniment of music alongside the actor singing is a nightmare in itself. I knew it was hard, I knew it was difficult, but I didn't know just how bad it was until I watched his video. And it's incredible, you should watch it. He even has a video talking about how Goofy is a fantastic perfect musical. Like I said, sometimes I'll get a little lost in what he's talking about. Sometimes I will be kind of out to lunch and what he means. If there's a brass tax comparison, you know how the big short talked about the stock uh, crash back in 2009, but dumbed it down for all viewers? Sideways does the exact same thing for music, so you should definitely check them out. Anyways guys, those are the three channels I suggest you should check out. Links to all of them are in the description below. You should definitely check them out and give them your support. And I hope you guys enjoyed this YouTube channel shout out video. If you guys enjoyed it, leave a like, and if you're interested in more, subscribe, and we'll see you again at the end of March.